This is a free call from Sorry. an inmate at LAPD Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. Press 1 to accept the call. To deny this call, thank you for using Telmate. Hello. Hey. You, you, you got out six and eight thing. Huh? Y'all got out and eight thing all good? Uh, I'm in the hospital. I'm outside the hospital. What hospital y'all at? About what? You said what? You're listening to Street TV. I said Megan's in the hospital still. I'm um I'm outside the hospital waiting. What hospital are you at? Uh, I don't know. Um, let me see. Cedar, something like that. Cedar. I know she probably never ever gonna talk to me ever again, but bruh, I just want you to know, bruh. Nigga, I was just so fucking drunk, nigga, I didn't even know what the fuck was going on, bro. That ass. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on, bro. Like that ass, nigga. I'd never do some shit like that, bro. Just a, a nigga, I was just so fucking drunk, nigga, I just didn't even understand what the fuck was going on, bro. Like so I, whatever, yeah. bro. But, you know, Regardless, that's not going to make anything right, and that's not going to make my actions right, bro, but I'm just deeply sorry, bro. I never even moved like that, bro. Like, never moved like that at all, bro. Like, for real, for real, dog. I don't know. There's a lot, a lot that happens, but... A whole lot, bro. Like, a whole lot, bro. I feel like... I feel crazy, bro, but... In this state, like... What happened happened already, bro. I can't take it back, bro. I just felt I'm just telling y'all I'm sorry, bro. Like you're listening to street TV. I think it was just too drunk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I got to when I got to the house, uh, uh shorty like all top niggas they gave me like five shots like off the door, like you feel me? So I was out of there like wasn't even there with niggas like you feel me? Okay. So we was taking shots past that time. I wasn't even there with niggas like bro. I don't even know I don't even remember what we was even arguing about, bro. Like like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, um, I didn't even, I was already fucked up by the time you got there, so I don't, I don't know how much. It's like, you know, but tell me, tell me what, um, what hospital she's in. You're listening to Street TV. I just told you, uh, Cedar Medical Center. All right, um, you ain't got Quan's number, right? You ain't got my security number. Quan, I do have his uh, number. Can you call this nigga Quan and tell this nigga, bruh? Um, you get a chance, bruh. Just figure out what you got to do to bail me out this shit. Okay. Thank you, bruh. I appreciate uh, it. I'm sorry again, bruh. Like, I, well, sure. I think, I think honestly, I think we're going to try to, um, because obviously, like, the longer you're in there, the more hot it's going to get. Because, you know, it's already on, like, there's no names released yet, but the report is already, it's already out, you know? Um, but like so, out is what? What you mean out? It's on some app. You know, Megan's Megan's team is on top of this. So, yeah, uh, but like niggas can't don't niggas don't. There's no way that Megan's on like the thing. No, no, what'd you say? There's no way that Megan's like on the thing. You're listening to street TV. No, 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 no. So far, none of that is there. But I mean, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be one of those. If anything, the only nigga that's gonna get this backlash is me. It's not gonna be her. Um. But, yeah, but I feel you. All right, um, it is what it is. I, I, regardless if I get out of here today or not, bro, I just want to let y'all know, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Like, I never did that shit if I wasn't that drunk, bro. Like, you feel me? Yeah. You have one minute remaining for this call. Let me just get out of here, you guys. You're listening to Street TV. Oh, uh, I can't hear you. What's going on? Yeah, all right. Hello?
get us to check it out now. Well, I'll be damned. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the problem with covering this whole Meg Thee Stallion Tory Lanez trial, okay? Now, Tory was on trial for shooting Meg, allegedly, and then obviously he got convicted. He's waiting, sentencing now. However, people don't know what to think. Now, the problem when we are outside the courtroom trying to judge this whole case is that we're going off what people tell us, okay? We're going off of, you know, their reactions to whether it be footage or audio or even a witness testimony. Now, since the trial's over, people could legally request the copies of the evidence that for all to see. Now, one of the main things that people, you know, uh, were saying, hey, this is not a confession, but some, to some they felt it was, was a jail call from Tory where Tory supposedly called Kelsey and basically said, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, mama, okay? Now, essentially... Tory, while locked up, called Meg, or actually called Kelsey. He didn't get to call Meg. He texted Meg later. Now, on paper, it didn't seem that bad. When you hear it, it sounds bad, okay? Tory seems like he's way too lit. Sounds like a guy coming out of a blackout moment, okay? Sounds like a guy who may have lost control. Sounds like a guy who maybe he's not just apologizing because I, I first, when I saw it on paper, I said, nah, he's apologizing for smashing both of these chicks. He seems like he's taking responsibility for everything, okay? By the way, the tone of Kelsey's voice was really important. Kelsey don't seem like she feel flattered or bothered at all. She don't seem like she feels like she could get in any trouble. And if we're believing the theory that Kelsey shot Meg, why Kelsey so chill, okay? Now, a few times, Tori was very interested if anyone had said or pointed the fingers at anyone. And, you know, I've watched and kind of like listened to this a bunch of times. Kelsey cuts him off before he could say something incriminating, which, again, this is why the jury probably ended up the way it did. I know some of y'all going to say, well, the jury got paid off this and third. Granted, this apology, we don't know really what it's for, right? But you have to imagine when 12 people hear this on a jury, what do you think they're going to think, bro? They just seen a bunch of videos of Meg crying in the ambulance, shot. They see everybody hysterical, and now they have a video or audio of Tori apologizing. Where do we think it was going to go? Okay, now maybe Tori was really just apologizing for smashing both of them. But on this particular phone line and on this particular call, it appears that he's taking responsibility. It appears that if one of the persons who is not in jail and who's outside of her best friend's hospital while you're in jail and you're over here like, yo, yo, this would have never happened if I wasn't so drunk. Unfortunately, people most likely would make up their mind to say that you did something, okay? Uh, still a very unfortunate case. I don't know fully what's the truth because no one's admitting that Meg and Kelsey fought at all, okay? Even though one witness said he saw it. Regardless, the bigger issue in the bigger picture is who shot Meg, okay? Now, listen to this. It just don't sound good, and trust me, I've had one of those nights where it's just one too many shots, and this is how you sound after you just did some stuff that you're like, that's not in my character to do, okay? Uh, hopefully, Tori gets an appeal, and hope. by the way, you know, as we're going to be judging these pieces of evidence coming out, we can't just, like, jump from one side to another because that's what it's going to do because again we've heard about it we've never heard it so now people are going to be swung on different sides of the aisle depending on how this audio hits them what do you guys think now um i still think tory could have had reasonable doubt with this but the tone in his voice we human man we human people are going to make up their mind they're not going to say, well, he didn't, he actually didn't say he did anything. Some people are going to be like, nah, that sounds like the tone of a man that did something, okay? What do you think? Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them, subscribe to Bojack Academics. Oh.